Hi YouTubers, it's Smoky as he says that again for the third video, third video today. Why am I doing a video today, my ask? Well, I have something more to talk about, so I hope you enjoyed my video on uh, my health after four and a half years of pipe and cigar smoking. Actually, over four and a half years of pipe and cigar smoking, so I hope you enjoyed that video. It was kind of short, but I just wanted to do that video today. I went to the doctor. Now, this video we're going to do right now is actually a little bit of a ramble, so bear with me. And I might say some bad stuff, so don't leave nasty comments. Okay. Now, I just want to talk briefly about pouch tobacco, pouch pipe tobacco, and uh, bulk, bulk, and bulk pipe tobacco. So, bear with me. Now, this is obviously bulk tobacco, right here. You know, comes in a bag, you know, Ziploc bag. This is what you call bulk pipe tobacco. Now, pouch tobacco comes in a little pouch, like Captain Black, like uh, Carter Hall, like Prince Albert, you know, like Granger. You can, you can get them in little pouches. I want to talk about the risks of buying pouches in bulk tobacco in general. What are the risks so involved? So, some of the risks involved, and this is probably, there's really only one risk. I mean, there's nothing wrong with buying um, pouch tobacco or bulk tobacco, but the biggest risk you take, especially when you buy online or from a tobaccoist you don't know, is it being too dry. Now, I have ranted a lot about moist tobacco, dry tobacco. This is not really a rant about that, but it's more about this is the biggest risk you take when buying pouch tobacco or bulk tobacco. Is it is going to be too dry? Now, unfortunately, with tobacconists, a lot of tobacconists, tobacco shops, they don't do a lot of business anymore, and many, many, many of their bulk tobaccos, house blends, are dried out. So it's a big risk you take when buying from a tobacconist, even a really good quality tobacconist like my like my tobacconist, watch a cigar you take a huge risk of it being too dry, the tobacco, the pipe tobacco. Now also, with uh, bulk tobaccos, depending on where you get them, whether it's from a tobacconist, from the internet sales, you know, online, or wherever, you know, whether it's from a retail store, especially like CVS, you know, like a, a CVS, a Walgreens, a Walmart. The sad th fact is a lot of people don't smoke pipes anymore, so most people smoke cigarettes, you know, or a dip or something like that, so, and more often than not, the tobacco is very, very dried out. Uh, I think Pyfron did a video with this a long time ago, quite a while, several years ago. Unfortunately, many of the, the tobaccos, like Captain Black, and even the tobaccos online, are very dried out. This tobacco is bone dry. It is dry as a bone. Um, to the point where it's starting to irritate my mouth. Now, I've smoked probably about, this is a four ounce puff bag, I've probably smoked about about half of this. So if you look here, about half is gone. So I have about probably two ounces, maybe two and a half ounces left, you know. Unfortunately, it's gone to the point where it's so dry. I tried to rehydrate, you know, with a paper towel and, and um, distilled water or rather a propylene glycol, which is basically distilled water. So um, unfortunately, it's gotten so dry. This is the tobacco U log, which I reviewed a couple days ago by pipesandcigars.com. It's so dry. I unfortunately have to, have to throw it out, unfortunately. Because unfortunately, it's just to the point where it's so dry that it's starting to irritate my tongue. It's causing immense tongue bite. My tongue is fuzzy right now. It's actually, it doesn't really hurt, but um, it's really irritating my mouth. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to throw this tobacco out. Now it's probably part of it's my fault because I let this tobacco sit for um a month without, without um touching it, you know? And it's probably because it's, it got dried out that way. But that is a big risk you take when buying bulk tobacco and pouch tobacco, where it's online, at a tobacco store, a CVS, Walgreens store, Walmart, is unfortunately, because there's not a lot of pipe smokers out there, most people smoke cigarettes or cigars, you know, or dip, you know, or chew, whatever. Most pipe tobacco in pouches and bags, or bulk, is going to be very dried out. Not all of it, but some of it is. So that is a big advantage to buying tins. Even though tins are more expensive, the, the advantage to a tin is they're vacuum sealed. Whether it's a can, a tin, a case. I've done a series on different tobacco packaging, packaging a long time ago, so that is the big advantage to buying tin tobacco or can tobacco. It is vacuum sealed. So, especially tins. Unfortunately, I am going to have to throw this tobacco out. And no, for the final time, I don't send tobacco through the mail. I'm not comfortable with it. I, I discussed that in my frequent, I discussed that in my, my frequent ask questions video. You know, I am not comfortable with, with sending tobacco through the mail. So, unfortunately, this tobacco is going to go in the trash. Unfortunately, 
I know I'm wasting probably about six or seven dollars, but who cares? I mean, seriously, I know a lot of people are going to be like, don't throw your tobacco, man, don't throw your tobacco, don't throw your backy. It is to the point where it's it's really, really, really irritating my tongue. You know, my tongue is really, really fuzzy right now. And I just don't feel like remorse yet. So, anyway, that's just something I wanted to talk about, is that is the risk you take when buying um, bulk tobacco or pouch tobacco. Anyway, give me your thoughts, comment, rate, subscribe, personal, if you want to. And peace out, guys, later, and bye. Bye.